Hello and welcome to Harmal TV. In this video, we will be discussing the efforts made by the Indonesian Chamber of Commerce and Industry, CAD in Indonesia and the Ministry of Economic Affairs to strengthen the business network in the Indo-Pacific region. They recently held a forum, called the Indo-Pacific Chamber of Commerce and Industry, IPCC, to expand and reinforce trade cooperation through business networks in the Indo-Pacific region. The IPCC Business Forum was a sideline event of the Indo-Pacific Economic Framework IPEF. It brought together business people, government officials, business associations, and stakeholders from various countries to discuss opportunities and challenges in the Indo-Pacific region. The aim was to create a new framework for regional economic engagement, particularly in the areas of digitalization, supply chains, and clean energy. The Minister of Economic Affairs, Erlanga Hartato, said that the Indonesian government is committed to achieving inclusive and sustainable growth in the Indo-Pacific and ASEAN regions. He added that the Indo-Pacific region is one of the areas driving global economic growth. Therefore, the IPCC Business Forum is expected to generate ideas that can be implemented to strengthen the Indo-Pacific as a key region for trade and investment. On the other hand, the chairman of Kadin Indonesia, Asjad Rastid, revealed that many countries face difficulties in formulating Indo-Pacific partnership strategies and various bilateral, regional, and multilateral initiatives without the involvement of the private sector. He said that there are several main questions from the private sector regarding the Indo-Pacific Economic Framework IPEF. These include the framework's structure, how the private sector can benefit from it, and whether access to the US market can be improved through this framework. In conclusion, the IPCC Business Forum was a significant step towards strengthening the business network in the Indo-Pacific region. The participation of various stakeholders, including business people, government officials, and business associations, was a positive sign of commitment to the development of the region's economic engagement. We hope that the outcome of the forum will bring positive change and contribute to the growth and sustainability of the Indo-Pacific region. Thank you for watching this video on the IPCC Business Forum and the efforts made by CADIN Indonesia and the Ministry of Economic Affairs to strengthen the business network in the Indo-Pacific region. We hope you found it informative and helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.